Hi, welcome back to Indoor Farm. On this video, we're going to talk about the maintenance. How do we drain the water from a 448 hydroponic system? Now, to push the system to the toilet to drain the water, most probably you're going to spill the water and wet the floor before you even reach the toilet. Scooping out the water can be tedious, can be slow. And today, I'm going to share with you a good way to do it. When you purchase a system, you will find the extra spare part in the box. These are end caps and water stopper. The plastic will be the water stopper. And we have the end cap for the outside. We're going to use this to stop the water so that we can bring up tray by tray to the toilet and drain the water. Now, let me just pull all the wires out, take out all the LED, and I'll show you how I do it step by step. Now the first thing we're going to do after taking off the wires and the LED lights off uh, Do not off the pump yet because uh, once you off the pump and if the water is too much it will overflow It will overflow from here and you're going to wet the entire floor Now it's best to put a low tray or something like this to prevent the water from wetting the floor Now another thing that I do is that I tape this pipe up the reason I do that is because I'm going to do this video by myself. So if I take this pipe off later, the pipe is going to drop and the water is going to spill. So I take this up and hopefully that the pipe will not drop later. Now if you are doing it yourself, you can put it against a wall. So when you plug this off, the pipe is going to lean against the wall and you will not have the problem spilling the water as well. Now shortly, I will put my camera up nicely so that I can show you how I'm going to stop the uh, overflow pipe and put the end caps on the other end so that we can pull the we can pull the uh, tray apart piece by piece See you shortly Okay, next we're gonna have our end caps ready. We just need our finger to block the holes the exit Before we pull out the pipe and then we're gonna put on our end cap that will stop the water flowing out now this pipe will be swinging downwards and all the water will be escaping from the pipe on the next tier and it's going to wet the floor now i have securely tightened up with a masking tape as i have shown you earlier if you are doing it alone put this against a wall and this thing can lean against the wall or get somebody to help you to hold on to the pipe so we'll, let's go on to the other end we're going to same thing use our finger to block the hole pull off the connector put on the end cap now, we're going to use our thumb and hands to just push off, loosen the tray from the pipe. And now we can bring this out easily to the toilet and drain the water. After you drain the water, take the end cap off and repeat the process for the next tier. Until the final tier, it will be really light and easy for you to push it to the toilet and drain it all off. Well, I hope uh, this video is going to help you in the maintenance. And I'll see you in the next video.